Kyle, age 17. And I'm Shadok Shunibas, age 17 as well. And together we're Newton's Apple, and this is our entry for a YouTube Space Labs competition. Our experiment deals with oobleck, which happens to be a sheer thickening fluid, which means that at first it might seem like a liquid, but if you apply pressure to it, you'll find that it behaves like a solid. How does the impact velocity of a metal ball affect the time taken to travel a fixed distance d in either direction? So for our experiment, we're going to need the oobleck to be placed in a cylindrical, durable glass or plastic uh, container with a lid on top. However, this lid is going to have to have an opening. The next thing we need is a mechanism which should be able to fire a steel ball, perhaps using compressed air similar to how a paintball gun works. The barrel of the gun should be in line with the opening. To prevent the oobleck from floating around, we're going to have to contain this. So we're going to need a plastic container which should have two openings, one for the barrel of the gun and the other for the plastic um, or durable glass cylinder. So as you probably worked out by now, our experiment involves firing a steel ball at the non liquid. The independent variable is the impact velocity of the steel ball, which is controlled by the gun. The dependent variable is going to be the time it takes for the ball to cover either this distance L or this distance L, depending on whether it bounces or sinks. We've considered five possibilities of this experiment. We believe that the third outcome is the most likely, and our heads making that our hypothesis. It's because of this, because we believe that the time taken for the steel ball to bounce is much, much greater than the time taken for the smooth leg to solidify. And so what we expect to happen is that as we change our independent variable, as the impact velocity increases, we expect that the kinetic energy imparted to the oobleck would increase. But we also expect that there would be a critical point where it's no longer able to take in any more kinetic energy, and so we expect that the graph would flatten out. We believe that this experiment is a really great idea to be carried out in space. So we think that it's an interesting experiment to understand how non-Newtonian fluids, and especially shear thickening fluids, would work. And perhaps the high-speed camera might add a valuable perspective. Please vote for us! Yeah.